Hi, my name is Gordon, and I'm a functional consultant on the Dynamics 365 Business Central team at Encore Business Solutions. In this video, I'd like to show you how to process an EFT or ele electronic funds transfer in Dynamics 365 Business Central. An EFT is an electronic transfer of money from one bank account to another. The advantage of EFT payments, the payment goes directly between the two bank accounts, and it doesn't matter whether they're at the same financial institute. Logging into Business Central, first we see that we have an overdue purchase invoice amount. This indicates that we need to pay these vendors, and sometimes we need to pay these vendors electronically. In Business Central, we can find our invo outstanding invoices by scrolling down and finding the Outstanding Vendor Invoices box. After clicking into the box, we get a list of all our invoices that we need to pay. I'm just going to select the first one and navigate to the action bar. Hit Process and Create Payment. This action will bring us to the Create Payment pop-up where we can populate some fields. There's the template name, which is going to be payment since we're making a payment. For the purposes of this video, we'll just use our general batch. Posting date, the document number, our bank account, and our payment type will automatically populate on our next, on our payment journal. So first I'll select our bank account as just our checking, and then our payment type will be an electronic payment. Next, I'll press OK. This action automatically brings us into our payment journal and populates our lines with our selections and invoice information. Here we had our posting date, our document number, our vendor, the vendor name, our invoice amount, which has been applied since we have the check mark in the applied column, our bank account, which was checking, and our bank payment type, which has been set to electronic payment. As I mentioned, an EFT is from our bank account to the vendors. So first, we need to select the recipient bank account. Now we're ready to process our payment. First, navigate to the action bar to bank and export to generate a remittance advice. We'll ensure that our bank account is still checking and press OK. This generates our remittance advice. Opening it up, we can see that the amounts are the same and it's applied to our invoice. Once that's been generated, we're ready to generate our EFT file. To do so, navigate to Actions, Functions, and Generate EFT File. After ensuring that our payment is included with the check mark, we can hit Generate EFT Files. Once our file is downloaded, we are ready to submit it to the bank. And since our EFT file has been generated, we're also ready to post our payment in our payment journal. This concludes how to process an EFT payment in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions.